Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. We're waiting for everybody to get on. Once again, thank you so much for listening to us on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and iTunes. Also on our YouTube channel, Dr. Zeno, you can get all the 15 Minute Fuels that are there, as well as seeing all the We Are Hero shows, episodes one through 51 and the season finale as well. I'll be posting my favorite episodes, maybe you know, two to three times a week with a little synopsis because we've already seen the end of it. Of course, we know how it ends, but just to kind of go over some cool things there as well. All right, the last couple of days we've been going over uh, just good, good value stuff, what's going on. We went over yesterday on how, you know, when we see a, a troubled time in our life or even see a perceived weakness, we don't realize that through working through that perceived weakness, we might be developing tremendous gifts and strengths, but we're so unaware of it because we're so focused on what we don't have or what we think are weak. All right, so today what we're gonna talk about is investment congruency, investment congruency. So this goes towards anything in life. So whether it be finances, business, relationships, personal development, um, you know, starting, uh, you know, health, anything there, it's investment congruency. So that may, basically it means this, you need to, or you should invest and become congruent in, in anything that you speak, sell, or promote in your life. And, and this is just not on a business side, right? So if I'm in a relationship with you and I'm talking about certain things or I'm giving you advice, um, I, need, I need to make sure that if you're teaching or, or you're giving advice to someone, you need to be doing that same advice, or at least the best you can. You know, if I'm, if I'm working you know, at my office, here I'm working my office, I'm trying to uh, you know, lead people towards fulfilled lives with the God-given principles and laws of healthy living, and if a care plan's $4,000, am, am I, number one, living what I say I do or what I'm teaching them to do? And two, this is where we're talking about today, it's not only living it, but would you invest in that? Would I pay four thousand dollars for my care? Which I do. You know, if you you know if you look at your your checkbook or if you look at your credit card statements, it'll show you the things that are really the true values in your life, the true priorities. So if someone says health is my greatest asset, it's my greatest uh, value, then it'll it'll reflect in your credit card statements in your checkbook. But if it's not, then you cannot teach it. You know, so that's why you know what, what people don't see. They they know. You ever uh, were you ever about to get something, or you were getting taught to do something, or maybe you were about to buy something, and there's just something inside you. You know, it made all the sense in the world. You were excited about it, but you just you couldn't explain why. You're like, just something doesn't feel right, and you left, and you left that opportunity on the table. And chances are, the reason that you didn't feel something was right because innately, you know, you know when someone's being incongruent. You know, I so. You know, whether it be uh, getting a car, just something, whatever that is in your life, whatever that situation was, your body knows innately inside that there was some type of incongruent thing, not with you, but maybe that person presenting, educating, teaching, whatever. You know, how many pastors uh, get on stage and they teach the Bible and they don't even read the Bible themselves. I mean, like, this is what I'm talking about. There's this type of thing going on. So a greatest way to raise your value as a human being, raise the value of your relationships, raise the value of your health, raise the value of your business is, number one, saying what you do, being congruent, and then be uh, invest in that congruency. So if I'm going to be a teacher and leader of health or mindset, then I need to invest in that so I could be an example to do so. And many doctors that, I, that I, I train or I talk to, they're like, listen, you know, a lot of people are saying this and this and that. They tell me all the objections they hear. Then I realize, I'm like, well, you know, you're hearing that objection because you're not doing what you would want them to do, are you? And they're like, well, not all the time. So I'm like, there's the incongruency. So when you, you know, when someone, it's amazing when someone starts investing, I'm talking about health, they start investing in their health, they start eating better, they start correcting their spine, they start exercising, they start, uh, you know, investing in those areas with money and end time, then all of a sudden, when I see doctors, so just to, like a doctor's looking for me to tell them this magic secret one-liner I use. I'm like, there's no one-liner. I go, the, the, the one-liner you're looking for is that you have to be the living sermon of it all, right? You have to be the, the non-verbal representation of what you are selling, what you are giving advice on. So uh, you follow what I'm saying? So there, there should be no words spoken in that. And whether everybody's looking for the, the magic sentences to say, there's no magic sentences. You either believe because when you do something, you know, if you were to invest in yourself, on, let, let's say, uh, 
I know, let's say you got a personal trainer and you invest in the personal trainer. Now, because you invested money in that personal trainer, you know what that feels like so you could actually feel fine about talking about that and no problem because you actually did it and you actually did those things. So that's why when you talk about experience, make sure it's congruent. But also at the other end, to make it even uh, easier for you, I know this light's kind of off today. Um, let me do this. Hmm. Um, another thing you could do, ugh, light's totally off. Um, so another thing you could do is this, uh, just be honest about it. So let's say, you know, let's say you aren't being 100% congruent, then at least be honest with that. And then that person will be able to understand as well. Be like, listen, I'm trying to do my best as well uh, on this diet, but I, I really believe in the diet's going to be good. And maybe you'll be able to get account be accountability partner. So it all comes down to be to investing in your congruency. You know, so and, and the best way to do it is time and finances. When you put the, the time and the money and the skin in the game or the finances, that really backs up what you really believe because they say your, your money's where your heart's at. So when you can really see where you're investing your funds, see where you're investing your money at, see where you're investing your time at, then take a 30, then back up and then see is that congruent with what you're trying to sell? Is that congruent with the relationships you're trying to build? Is that congruent with the business you're trying to build? And then if it's not, you at least know exactly how to fix it. And just fixing where you put your time and money will increase the value of whatever you do. And nothing beats when you speak something or say something, you know you're backing it up with your whole entire person. You're like, you know, like I know when I beat a life-threatening disease, it's like I know what it's like to spend the money and work. And do, like it's it's come, the, it's, it's, it's like tattooed and deep-rooted from here. I'm not just trying to sell something. You follow what I'm saying? I'm, I'm coming from experience. And experience is the greatest thing and that makes the best leaders. And you don't have to worry about being perfect, just worry about becoming a potentialist. And a potentialist is just doing the best you can with what you got in, in the moment you have it. No one's looking for perfection. You know, leaders walk with a limp. I always tell people that leaders walk with a limp. You know, the leader has a scar on their face. It, you know, people want to know someone who took the hit. Everybody's focused about being perfect and being polished. But if you could just show you're genuine, you're real, but most importantly, you're congruent. And that's a big thing. You know, when I, when I talk to doctors and I know, you know, it's, it's probably not politically correct, but when a doctor um, comes to me and they're out of shape or they're, you, you can see their health's out of, out of whack, I'm like, you know, why, why, are you, um, why are you weak in that area? And, and I'm not saying weak as in a physical weak. I just know there's there's something deep inside them I have to help them with in order for them to really become the person they're going to be, that hero, you know, they were supposed to be. Because they have a tough time because it's incongruent. You know, I can't be 400 pounds and, you know, 50% body fat and tell you to talk about nutrition. It's not going to work. I mean, I might say, I can, and I could say the best stuff. I could say, I could say truths. But if it's coming from someone who you could say, yeah, he doesn't, he's not doing what he's talking about. You're not, you're not going to believe it, and therefore you'll be uninspired to do so. So the best way you could inspire others is to be a living sermon. That's the best way to do it. You know, uh, there was a quote. It was really good. Um, to the fact where, you know, the best sermon is unspoken. Yeah, I think it was similar like that. Like where you just go and you're just a living example of that person who's, who's not perfect, but you're going through it as well. And that's what inspires people. They could say, hey, listen, so if it's your business, you know, if, if, I work for, if, if I work for Lexus and I drive a Ford, I'm not a good car salesman. You follow what I'm saying? Like I need to, I need to invest and get the, the product that I'm selling. I need to experience it. All little examples. But again, I'm trying to fit, you know, relationships, business, finances, and, uh, and, and health. But I always talk about health first because we can't do anything without our health. So when it comes to your life, whatever those things that uh, you are going for in your life, one of the biggest blind spots isn't the words you're saying. You're probably saying the right words. You're probably working really hard. I have no, I, I have no doubt and I believe your sincerity for working hard and, and you're going after it and you're hustling and you're trying to make things work. But what I tend to find is that when you go behind the scenes, behind the closed doors where the incongruencies are at, if you start to fix those, fixing the things people don't see is gonna be the things that are gonna manifest into the results that you always wanted. Behind the doors, like I said, what people don't see, innately they know. And I tell you, it just, this, I'm just thinking of doctor after doctor, people I talk to, once they fix those one little things that, know, that we could all hide from, I mean, very easy to hide from it. 
But once you start doing it, you'll be amazed what happens. For instance, like uh, I have patients do homework at home, you know, little spinal hygiene stuff. And, you know, for a couple months, I stopped doing mine. And sure enough, no one knew that, but everybody was being, for some reason, they were not compliant with their home, home stuff. And I knew it. And my doctor's like, well, how come they're not doing their stuff? And I said, it's my fault. I go, I got it. And they didn't even know what it was talking about. I started doing my stuff at home. And sure enough, everybody picked up. No one knowed it was, it was this unspoken thing that went on, but it was just, it was just, I think when you're congruent and you're doing it and you're living it and you're investing in it, then I just think when you, when you communicate, it, it just, it's layered with such intention and experience that it just connects with people on a, an entirely different level. So whatever it is that area of your life, make that decision right now. Take the risk, invest the time, invest the money into it. If you want to start a new business, invest in the course to get it done. You know, get a loan, do whatever you need to do, start investing, like show congruency. Hey, listen, I, I, you know, I made that step of faith to do it. Become congruent, and then when you're congruent and you are doing it, then you could actually ask others to do exactly what you had done yourself because now you're congruent. Well, hopefully that helps you guys a lot out that are, that are on that teeter-totter. I've been there and this is a good one today because, you know, it's people could bang themselves uh, their head against the door saying, well, I'm doing everything right. I'm, I'm even, I'm doing just as good as so-and-so, but how come they're doing better? It's, it's the behind the scenes, you know, it's the, it's the health practitioner that, you know, smokes the cigarettes. It's the one, it's the health practitioner that goes home and, you know, maybe they got a, an alcohol addiction. I mean, these are these are not um, these are not uh, not this, these are not weak. These are these are these are demons that people fight. But maybe that that uh, intention that listen, once you could beat that thing or have a bigger why to be able to help other and 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 excel in your marriage, your relationships, your job, and your finances by by investing time and money to beat this then you could be able to go out and be uh, an inspiration and representation of others because now you're congruent. Hope you had a great day. Uh, this is today's Thursday. We will see you tomorrow. I'm going to try to get Whitney on, uh, get her on going. She hasn't been here in a while. We'll get her going. And then Justice. So uh, Justice is getting ready for karate. Uh, he's going to Vegas next week. So the Vegas championships, this will be his third year in a row going. And he'll be going as a black belt now. If you don't know my son Justice, just go to the We Are Hero show and check those out and you'll see Justice. So he just got his black belt. So he's doing the Chuck Norris system and he should, uh, he's really looking ready uh, to bring home a couple, uh, a lot of hardware and, and uh, celebrate. So they do that once a year. So we'll be in Vegas. So he's kind of been in, he's been in uh, Zeno focus mode, so to speak. Uh, but we'll probably get Whitney on tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow will be on 2 o'clock as usual, 2, 2 15 with Whitney Zano. Have a blessed day, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. God bless. We'll see you soon.